Right, see now, see the hedgerow going along there? That's where I walked. I followed that hedgerow all the way along, climbed up in between those two hills there. Now when I go back in a minute, I'm going along the, the road over there and up past that huntsman's cottage up there. Up, up, and then walking round that. But isn't this a gorgeous looking church? I said, my camera's not very good. I don't know if we can get in this way. Oh, it looks like we might be able to. Oh yeah, we can. I find that other gate really difficult. Do you? Yeah. I don't know if I've ever been in this way before. So here we go. What we do, we'll walk around the church first. And um, I just put a camera there. This is Sheila. This is Sheila. Hi, everyone. This is Sheila. I think it's about the 27th of... October 2024 and I'm out at this beautiful church in the middle of nowhere near Crook's Peak where my cousin Barbara has ancestors here. I'm going to go in the church in a minute. I've not eaten anything. I've not eaten anything so I don't get indigestion. I'm, I'm not hungry and I'm going to I'm trying not to eat anything, to tell the truth. Oh yeah, yeah. Because um, I get indigestion and I've got to go uphill. I've got to go uphill. I can't believe, yeah, there is a tap here. Look. There's a tap if you need water, Sheila. Oh, that's how I break the camera, everyone. Let's just drop the camera. <laughs> that's how they get broken and been maltreated. <laughs> right, you can turn it off a minute. Right, there we've got the old stone cross, look. Outside, like they, a lot of them are. Lovely old church sat on that bench before as well. I've had a little walk around. I have done this before. So it's like a, just a refresher really. Compton Bishop, St Andrews, that's right. Might be shut. You never know. I reckon that name will act oak. Mm. Sometimes our oak family are spelt like that. And you've got some laces here. Let's keep our fingers crossed, shall we? It's usually open. Yeah, it's open. I bet they had a service this morning. Oh, it smells so churchy, this, this particular place smells so churchy. I'll do the video first because um, somebody might come in so I'll do the video first. It's a lovely church. It is cared for. I notice they have taken a lot of the fitted carpets up these days. Maybe they harbour too much and sometimes under these thicker carpets they have um, graves or stones. Handmade, what's that? What does that mean? Handmade. Oh, little gifts. Maybe you put things in there. I 
I've got I have got these um these little leaflets, you know. I've got them. They've put my name in the my my name has been put in this book loads of times. So uh I won't I won't do that today. This will be full of poppies and things soon when the memorial service takes off again. So this is for my... I'm visiting on behalf of Barbara Fodor, whose ancestors she shares with me, the Fletcher family. Um, we're looking at London for now, that, but, they, but they probably were further out in the countryside. And I'm looking at possibilities for Lincolnshire as well now. Um, because we've got lots of different connections going on. And um, well, I come here for Barbara, who passed away very close to where my sister Jude passed, I think around about 2000. 18, I think. <sighs> Sorry if I can't remember exactly. But uh, remember that shield. I've got pictures of all this, you know. I'm just doing the video first in case anyone comes in. It really smells musky and churchy in here. And it's kept well clean. I've got old videos. I've got videos going back 15 odd years when I cycled here first. And I had a very, very basic camera. Um, and, uh, uh, I had a very good one as well that Joni gave me, of a very early mobile camera. It was a very good one. I've had lots of good ones and then they all pack up on me. Like I just dropped this one on the floor, but it landed on the grass, fortunately. Look at this big Bible here. Nineteen eleven, presented by Abraham Turner of this parish. Family Bibles. A lot of people had them, you know, but they all got lost. They could do with brightening up their foot stalls, couldn't they? If you compared this to some of the other churches I've been in recently, like um, Loxton Church and St James the Great. They've got really colourful footstools, you call them. All nice and easy to hoover. And I'm, I think that's improved here. I've got a feeling it was quite dusky and grey and everything. I've got a feeling it's had a coat of paint and a, a nice new ultra cloth, I'm sure. The old piscina would have been over that way. Um, yeah, very basic. It's definitely had a coat of paint, definitely. So somebody's caring, aren't they? Well, I'm going to turn off and do some photos. Right, a small video as we are leaving Compton Bishop, Church of St Andrews. We come from Winscombe, across the top, wavering down, wavering down, and then all the way down. A lovely walk down. There's the Church of St Andrew and we're going down Church Lane. It's just starting to get slightly nippy but that's because I've stopped walking. I have got a hat. I've got a coat, not a thick one. Well, I'm going to build up some uh, heat. There are some very big clouds but it's supposed to rain tomorrow. <sighs> and the time is... Believe it or not, one o'clock. That extra hour made a difference, you know. I thought I was going to be really late doing this walk, but no, it's worked out quite well. There is a bit of hill to do in a minute, though. We walk down through the hamlet of Compton Bishop. Not all, not all the residential area. We're going to go up, up a path, and to get onto the to get up there and then we'll see that hill there we'll be down a bit walking around it if I can 
if I can find the path. It's not easy to find, actually, so... Let's see how we get on. So there's the church. I've been visiting here for... Uh, definitely a good 15 years, but probably longer. Um, let me see. So, definitely 15 years, yeah. We're going up Coombe Lane. And we're going up past the Manor House. The walled garden and all that. There's a little bit of a breeze now, which I wasn't here earlier. So, we're, we're doing all right. So if you think, um, what time did we get over? I can't remember now. Well, I didn't look at my watch, I don't know. Um, half, half ten, eleven, I think. Half ten, eleven. Crooks Peak, you can't see us over that hill there, over there. It'll come into view again later. Now I deliberately left a warmer coat at home because there was none of this breeze. But I'm, I've got a nice winter jumper on. I have got a windshield. I've got a hat if I want, a scarf, gloves. Yeah, you can get up that. I've done it before. You can climb up there and walk all the way up to Crook's Peak, which is beyond those trees that way. I've done all that. I've done it both ways. I know this area well. And when there's no cows, I saw some people, they'd gone through the gate there, walking across the fields. <coughs> I don't mind doing this path. My feet are a bit damp because um, I think I got I didn't dry these out properly the other day. I usually do, and they, they've never been wet before. I can't remember where I went. I got where I got wet. I don't know. There's a stream here. There we are. Look. Water coming off the hills. See. Water coming off the hills there. Yeah? I don't know which where that will go. Probably join a river somewhere. It'll be on a map. Right, well, I'm just gonna I'm gonna turn off in a second. I just um do a little bit more so you get an idea of uh, the area. We're we'll be going uphill for quite a long time now. Gradually going up and up and up. And um, we have to go past that cottage there. But uh, you can get into the wood there, skirt through. I've seen that route. Not done it, but I've seen it. I'm aware of it. Yeah, we just weave up a bit. It uh, helps the climb, actually, the, the weaving, the bending and twisting. Get it levelling out a bit. Stop people parking. And what I said, we'll be up there, skirting that ridge up the top there. Look. That's plan A. Whatever we do, we've got to go up. You can't escape it, Sheila. <laughs> You've got to go up. I know. <sighs> I watched those people going up earlier, the other side of there. None of them look very happy, because it's not nice going uphill. I can't think of anyone who really enjoys it. Especially when you're carrying your picnic in your water. 
Right then, Compton Bishop. Over and out.